Hey guys, welcome back to Cinema Sit Down. I'm Jaden Romeo, and today we watched It's West Inside. It was a new Netflix movie. We'll talk more about that right after the intro. Alright guys, welcome back. So today we watched It's What's Inside. It came out last Friday on Netflix. What do we think? What do we think? Oh, okay, hi, I'm Madeline Otero. I liked the movie. I'm Isaiah Townley. I liked the movie. Hey, um, my name is Natalie Kalindras, and the movie was solid. I'm Katie, and <laughs> um, I'm inside of my dog. Um, <laughs> I'll say the movie is really interesting. <laughs> So, um, let's start with first impression. Let's start with Madeline. How'd you feel? I really enjoyed this movie. So, I had actually saw it on, like, I've been seeing TikTok ads on it, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I need to go watch this movie. And so, we're watching it, and you know how you send us, like, all the stuff where we're supposed to read them yeah, so they're not, yeah. like, triggered and stuff? I, I, don't, I don't read that. Um, so, <laughs> <Didn't> <laughs> so I really know. didn't know what we were watching. Um, and so, when I saw it, I was connecting the dots. I'm like, I feel like I've seen this clip before. And then I realized I haven't, this movie I've been wanting to see. So I really enjoyed it. It was really crazy. It's almost exactly what I thought it would be, but mm -hmm. it wasn't. It also really reminded me of the vibe of Bodies, Body, Bodies had. That's what I thought, yep. Mm -hmm. And I liked that vibe, but I felt I didn't like Bodies, Bodies, Bodies that much mm -hmm. compared to this movie. So I liked, I liked that it had the same vibe, but I felt like the movie was a lot better. So glad you liked it. That makes me happy. Yeah, um, I also didn't know what I was getting into with this movie. Um, I don't know, I feel like even from the beginning, you get the um, feeling that, okay, this person knows what they want to do with the movie, because you start to see, like, the conflict very clearly mm -hmm. from the beginning. Um, and it's pretty, like, bold, it's quick, and all the shots are done well. So from, like, the beginning to the end... I felt like it was done really uh, skillfully and with a lot of very specific intent. They knew what they wanted to make, and they were very clear with all of their decisions. So I really liked it. Good, I'm glad. Katie, how do you feel? Oh, no. <laughs> Give me, like, Freaky Friday vibes. I don't know why. Okay. Um, Like, I thought I was more like Brooke mm -hmm. at sometimes. Um, but... Um, I think that the movie was actually a great movie. Like, I didn't know it was... I, I'm not a big what's, what, horror movie mm -hmm. person, but I do watch a lot of, like, films. Not films, like TV shows that are kind of scary. Mm -hmm. But this was probably my first... Well, the other one I watched was Late Night with Devil, this was a lot better from that movie yeah. <laughs> because it's not that like it's confusing at some points. Like I had no clue that two people died. Like I mm -hmm. didn't know that actually happened. But I will give it like a solid seven half. <laughs> yeah, I think from the trailer that I saw from this movie, I thought it was gonna be more like. A question game where it's like do this or die kind of thing mm -hmm. but it wasn't like and then i saw the guy and he looked kind of creepy so i was like oh he's a serial killer mm -hmm. and i had no no idea what i was getting into but i like the take that they took i don't know they're like uh after college students so i feel like i'm not an after college student but i think i get the mindset so like the plot was like i can see people like this so i thought it was cool and i do agree with isaiah like I, f I don't know. Netflix puts out good movies. Like, their cinematics are always really good. So I liked what they were doing. It was very artsy. And there's a lot of color in it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like the vibe was was not what I expected at all at first. Because, like, I don't know. Just because the show starts... Or, show? Um, it starts off, like, party vibes. But also, like, they're at their friends like wedding bachelorette party whatever it is and then this dude comes in and he's like let's play a game mm -hmm. and it's like oh okay cool but then we're, we're actually gonna switch bodies real quick and that just always 
I'm just like threw me off. Yeah, threw you for a loop. I was like, um, in the beginning, I was confused too because you meet uh, Cyrus and his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry, I don't remember her name. Shelby. But Shelby. Shelby. Yeah, Shelby. Yes. And then I was like, what's going on here? And then that story just plays out through all of it, mm-hmm. and it's like it all comes together in the end. Mm-hmm. And I think everything that happened to Cyrus was justified. Putting it out there. Yeah. Oh, I feel like he kind of deserved it. Cyrus kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah. He was definitely an interesting character, and he treated Shelby kind of weird. And then mm-hmm. when Shelby was in Nikki's body, and he, she was like, oh, I want to switch back. Yes. But he was like, well, I don't <laughs> like you looking like that. So, yeah. I don't know. Part of me wishes we met the wife, or yes. the future wife, I Sophia. thought that's who was the person at the end. I thought mm. she was, like, coming in, and she was going to be like, oh, right. what's going oh, on? Yeah. But we never yeah. meet her. No, we saw her. Do we? we? saw just a little, like, they did, like, a little pan by her, like, sobbing oh, in her wedding dress. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was but that, like, yeah. there was, like, okay. no lines. Yeah. Like, it was just kind of, like, a little, a little look-see. Yeah. I do wish with, like, the side characters they went a little mm-hmm. bit more in that conflict because, yeah, I mean, they're all, like, there's the infidelity thing yeah. with everybody, pretty much. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I feel like they could have dug into like, like they have the whole party thing that was going on. But I don't know. I feel like I didn't understand the conflict between everyone that much in the beginning. Um, besides, obviously, the main two characters. Like, I guess with the one guy, I knew he had feelings for the one girl, Maya. Mm-hmm. But like everybody kind of liked everyone, like I said. So I don't know. I feel like they could have developed that a little bit better. Yeah. And maybe at the end, like had something more with the brides mm-hmm. or something like that. I don't How know. do you guys think the wedding went? Because she's crying, but w- honestly, I don't think we saw where Ruben was or where mm-hmm. anybody else ever Forbes, Dennis, and... Maya. Maya, mm-hmm. one of the first. Well, the sister's and the in girl. Ruben now, yeah. right? Yeah. So she probably just did. No, the sister no, is no? in Nikki. The sister's in um, Nikki. Nikki. She is? Yes. Oh, okay. She was driving off with yeah. the okay. suitcase. Oh, yeah, duh. Okay, yeah. And then Ruben Cyrus is and Cyrus. And Cyrus yeah. Shelby's and Shelby. Shelby. We, they didn't really confirm yeah. whether Shelby was Shelby or not. I think it is her. I kind of, I think? do yeah. think it's her. Yeah. Okay. I think that, I think she's yeah. just kind of, I think, mad. I think she's, it changed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Point blank period. After all that, the <laughs> night she went through, <laughs> what the hell? Period. Her yeah. man kept lying to her. No. No, that was crazy. You never see a book. No. The split head? Like half oh, red, half oh, black. Who is she? Turning. I don't really understand. Her, Maya. Name. She's the one she who died because like, she was banging Ruben. Yeah. Oh. That was why I agree with Isaiah. I got but lost yeah. in yeah. the everything because I was like, wait, who's banging right now? Because I thought it was Nikki and. <laughs> <Yeah>. So sorry. <laughs> hey, this is rated on the rooftop, R, so. guys. Yeah. I wish no. they would have like uh, showed how you know how they were like kind of switching back to who the characters were and like the mm-hmm. red. I wish they did that a little bit. So yeah, that's I, yeah. Because yeah. it, it, it definitely helped you like understand the storyline to then go back and be like, oh, so actually you're this person and you're this. You're being shady over there, mm-hmm. but yeah. Well, I actually I wish the round one they hadn't used that as much, but mm-hmm. then later on use it more. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like they used it a little bit too early. In round one, I wanted it to be a little bit more of a mystery. Yeah, you're, like, mm-hmm. also in on it. Right. Or I not, feel like I, w- yeah, I wanted it to be more in on it and be like, oh, I wonder what's going on and try and figure it out. And I don't know. I think it was really cool how they did, like, the voice changer and the lights. But just save that for the end when mm-hmm. you're not really questioning who's who anymore. It's not, it's not the big issue. It's, like, the conflict with the police and, you know, getting into the right body, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So. Agreed. You don't see Brooke at all, mostly. Brooke. Who Brooke is the Brooke? I'm so lost. I think Brooke's the red and Brooke. black hair girl. No. Oh. Maya's the, thought, yeah, Maya's the, the hippie curly. girl. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think Brooke. Curly was then... Brooke. Wait, Brooke? Brooke? Brooke was the curly hair one. No, that's Maya. No, that's definitely Maya. So Brooke is the um, two hair yeah. guy. <laughs> You like can figure it out if you watch the movie. No, yeah. uh, you can you can drop it in the comments and correct us. <laughs> put who are put you? down the time uh, stamp uh, wherever we get it I wrong. Know. I like but I know there was like two. There's round one and round two, but I know like one one round there's like two people getting into it with mm-hmm. yeah they different people. Yeah. I know that, mm-hmm. but Very true. I don't remember who with. I think one was with. It was that was Ruben and 
Brooke. I remember there's another t- couple too. I know what you're talking about. That was mm-hmm. Nikki and someone else. Dennis. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a very confusing time? movie. I don't really yeah. <laughs> understand where the th- the storyline came from. Um, this was directed by Glenn Glenn Johnson, I think. Mm. And so he he was crazy mind. I've also never seen any of these people in anything else. I Four love when kind of we familiar. bring in lesser known actors. Me? Because you get so into the characters. And also, like, these actors, like, the whole time I was thinking, these actors are, like, insane, like, in a good way. Like, how, like, they had to embody three different, like, three, four mm-hmm. different characters all at the same time. And they were just, like, I just, that was so insane to me. Like, yeah. that's something that I don't think I could do. Like, I, I think it was I insane. No. Yeah, I th- I really want to know how you said his name was Glenn, who yeah. like direct. Mm-hmm. Um, I really want to know whether he did it chronologically, mm. or Ooh. if he if he said to everyone, "Okay, we're gonna That's shoot good. all these scenes. These are the characters you're gonna play," and then he swapped and he's like, mm-hmm. "Okay, we're gonna do all these scenes. This is the character you are," because I wonder as an actor if that's easier to like just stick in a character mm-hmm. even though they're different scenes or the same character i don't know i think that's interesting to maybe i don't know if they'll ever do like a behind the scenes that or would something, be that would be wild though because i feel like it would be easier to be like one person and then move on and be this person but because they go back and forth so much i don't know if yeah. if they could do it like that i have no idea i also wonder if what's his name i always forget the dude with the suitcase Forbes. Uh, Forbes. I wonder if Forbes was told, like, the actor, whether mm-hmm. he was going to secretly be playing his sister or Ooh. not. That's something I want to do a rewatch and see if there's, like, mm-hmm. more things to, to pick up out. on. Like yeah. Because yeah. I know sometimes directors will, mm-hmm. like, not tell the actor something mm-hmm. so that they'll play it in a certain way and mm-hmm. then they'll tell him afterwards. So. That could be like, crazy. I noticed, like, in the end, in the middle, they only say the sister's name. Like, if you notice, like, they always say Beatrice. Mm-hmm. But only between, um, I forgot his name, one of the guy's names, mm-hmm. and his Forbes sister. Mm-hmm. Forbes and one of the other guys, and Beatrice, because one of them liked Dennis. Dennis. One of them, like, Dennis liked the sister before he got with yeah, his girlfriend. Yeah, Nikki. M- Nikki. But in the beginning, I remember in the party, um, they Forbes couldn't come to the party because he was in California. Mm. And then he showed, like, there's a loud banning or whatever, and then he came to the front door. I remember that. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Forbes wasn't, r- he, he was invited, but people yeah. didn't really want him yeah, there. Right, and he also, like, showed up super mm-hmm. creepy, like, in the <laughs> back yeah. of the window. <laughs> How long do you yeah. think the sister was Ooh. in his body? Wait, pause, because remember in the yeah. beginning, when he's, when he's like, going through what he's going to say, and he's like, I was making a lot of paper. He was rehearsing what he was going to say to them. So, yeah, the sister was there the whole time. But the sister's yeah. been in his body since they played the yeah. game. They played the oh, game. yeah, so they've been, yeah. But what was there. that? How long, how did the sister know that he was doing this thing? How did the sister how did know, know to go? How did the sister Phone, know? I guess. I know, but like, the party that, that the party was supposed to happen eight years later. Like, the birthday party was at that house. Mm-hmm. So maybe, and she was, was this yeah. all, all just a big plan yeah. to get back with Dennis? Because girl. Ooh. No, but I now th- they're siblings? Okay. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was no. I was like, what? That's no, crazy. I think, remember, on. I think you said like in the ending or the middle that he did some paperwork, whatever, mm-hmm. but they showed a clip with his sister. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think it there. might be like a long time ago before they played the game. Like, okay. years, like years back. Yeah. She's yeah. been in that body for a while. You think? Plotting revenge, Maybe. I think, yeah. She was Maybe. pissed off. She could be. I like the bringing back the, like, these people are, like, different, mm. like, smaller mm-hmm. known artists. And, like, they had, they showed a lot of range. I just think that was cool because you're giving them, like, an opportunity to show, like, I can do different characters. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, make a name for yourself. This is, like, a dream role for, like, an actor, right. I feel. Yeah. Because like a big demo role. Really, yeah. Because you're, like, <laughs> really good yeah, you're pretty much doing, like, four different parts. Yeah. And, yeah. 
And it's also, also just super impressive that they really did this on like one location, essentially, mm-hmm. which is super impressive. And the way they did it, I never felt like I was watching it. And I'm like getting bored because the house was so unique. Yeah. And I don't know. I never, I never felt like it took me out of the movie mm-hmm. at all because the way they shot it was very like. Mm-hmm. I don't know, artsy and weird. Right. So like when I'm seeing all these crazy rooms, it didn't take me out. A- and I like looking back now, I was like, I should be questioning like, yeah, why they have like a crystal maze just room. in your basement. <laughs> yeah. I want and one? I never did because I was like so engrossed in the movie. Yeah. So that's like, like super impressive. I've seen this show. This like, I know like what you're saying about like behind the scenes, whatever, mm-hmm. how they do the characters. Um, I was in the movie this summer. And I watched behind the scenes of a show um, where they had a twin. They had like, two sisters with twins, and er, the actors, the actress, the actress play the same the person. The Parent Trap. No, Liv and Maddie. Oh, oh I do know that. You don't know how like there's show. only yeah. one actress, and they yeah. made them look like identical. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the director was thinking about this movie, but they could have had one actor play multiple. Who was your favorite character, though? Ooh. I'm going to say the one who's always wild. The one who was always wild? Yes. Was it? Ruben? I mean, I mean. Dennis was pretty. Cr- oh, yeah. Dennis was just kinda <laughs> kind of mind-hungry. He was. He was a curly hair one. He was I like the curly hair. Maya. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the one who was like, in the green. In the green. Maya? Maya. Yeah. I liked um, sure. Shelby. Yeah, Shelby's character Shelby was, was really real. good. Yeah. I, and like when, she, I don't know, like just the actor. Like I liked her facial expressions when mm-hmm. she was looking at that boy or, or just when she was like experiencing all of it. Shelby was by far my favorite character. She's such an interesting character. Yeah. And I feel like she definitely had the most like fleshed out like ambitions and 100%. like fears and insecurities. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. feel like she you could real. almost like see how she wanted to stay as Nikki and you felt like empathy mm-hmm. for her and at first I definitely felt like this was going to be almost like um an Indigo Goes West type mm-hmm. of situation I don't know if you know that movie no, um I've never seen. but like she kind of like stalks her through like social media and then becomes her best friend and like oh okay so that's, that's so where I thought this was going but mm-hmm. I really liked how it went I do wish my only flaw that I didn't like about the movie. I oh. wish there was more murder, and I wish there was more blood. Whoa. More murder and blood is kind of crazy. Really? With the lighting they had, the mm-hmm. blood could have looked really cool. Yeah. I like my gore, yeah. guys. What can I say? Like, over. Okay. I just saw, like, in the beginning, like, it says, like, it was, like you'll see that out of the postings or whatever on social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Um, And then, like, in the middle, you see that, like, when there's such bodies. Like Nikki and whoever that other person you just Shelby. said, Shelby. Um, I feel like it's kind of like m- me right now with a friend. Like, I feel like it's kind of pulling on two sides. Mm. Wow. Like, you don't want to, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, then let's go to our, our final thoughts. Wrap this up real quick. Madeline, mm. how do you mm. feel? I really enjoyed this movie. I really liked um, how, like, the, the feel of it all, the shots, and, like, um, the colors. I loved I love the it. colors. And I also feel like, maybe just to be really fast, I feel like the colors in this film are, like, and are going to be, like, kind of like the, I guess 20 years from now, they're going to be like, oh, that was so 2020. Like the oh, colors. you think? That'd yeah. be kind of cool, That's though. That's how I feel. But I loved this movie. I would definitely give it, like, a 9 out of 10. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I I never felt like I was... I felt like I was in the movie. I felt like I was with them. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it as well. It really reminds me sort of a talk to me, if anyone's seen that, with yeah. the idea of, you know, like fresh out of like school a bunch of young people playing the game it goes wrong and i love talk to me and i thought this movie was i don't know that the idea was really fresh to me um and it was just the perfect length where i didn't feel like it rushed or it went too long and it's a beautiful movie i love the main character so yeah i'm gonna have to give it like 
Probably eight out of ten. I think it's a really eight strong. Out of 10. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna give it like a seven, seven out of ten. I thought the movie was beautiful. I thought it was very well done. It was a little confusing, but seven, yeah. Kitty. It kind of felt like Jumanji. I don't know why. Like, if you like feel like in the beginning, it's like I'm not saying high school, but if you feel it, like there'll be really young people playing a game. Something goes wrong. Mm-hmm. And you have to have a funny guy in it. <laughs> you do have to have a funny guy. And, and, and all I know is Dennis. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'll, I'll say I'm a big fan of getting into the movie. Mm-hmm. Like, so a scale of 1 to 10. You said 7. How do you something, feel? right? <laughs> 7 and a half. So that's, but that's not bad. I'm going to say a 7 and a half or maybe an 8 and a half. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I, I had a I had a epiphany. So remember in the in the movie guys where yeah. Maya is like going through her art thing and it's like, mm-hmm. Oh, the color is red, green, blue and that's like a lot of the colors that were oh, in the movie. Wait, and so it's like it's what's inside. Like bro. Oh. <laughs> like I was like, No that's genius. Way. That was crazy. So that gives it to me oh. like a nine point five ten even because I was like, Oh wait. She's genius over there. That was crazy. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. Um, That was Cinema Sit Down. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.